Hello friends, it's Simone and I have a new pen. Um, it's not new pen day, this has been sitting in my stash for a while, but I am getting ready to unink my currently inked pens and prepare for a new rotation. And so I would love to use this next month. So I decided I'm going to show it to you and we are going to ink it up together and do some size comparisons. Let me tell you why I purchased this pen. This is the Twisby Go. It is in a medium nib. Let me open this. It is the clear version. And this pen I purchased specifically because it was recommended to me uh, by several people when I complained about my uh, problems with shimmer inks i have since received other recommendations as well but i wanted to try this one first this is a super cheap option um it's around 17 to 18 dollars i purchased mine from jet pens but you can get it other places as well it it is a beginner fountain pen and it has this spring loading mechanism that makes it pretty attractive for kids I think but it doesn't mean that we as adults cannot use this pen um, it is Twisby's cheapest pen and so that makes it even if I'm going to ruin it with shimmer inks which I think I'm not um, I think there's not a lot of money lost um, it comes in this very uh, reduced packaging which I actually really like so there's nothing much to do or there's not a lot of space taken up by this packaging. It's the uh, cardboard sleeve or cardstock sleeve that you can see on other pens from Twisby as well. And then this white box, there is an instruction manual inside and then the pen. And that's all we need. And this instruction user manual is also pretty Um short and sweet but it gives us all that we need to know um, and the pictures are really clear as well I you have to uh, submerge the section as well not just the nib so the, the the lower part of the section so that you have a vacuum and then it sucks in the ink like that and so that's exactly what we're going to do in just a moment this is the clear version it's interesting that the section is not clear. It's also not the same uh, same plastic or acrylic that is used on the Go or the uh, Swipe. Not the Go. Did I say Go? The Eco or the Swipe. I have them here because I want to compare the size, but we can p pull them out as well. Uh, the nib and feet are the same. Uh, however, if we look at this more closely, let me see if I can show it to you right here. There, right here, there is a notch in your in this section so that you can place the feed only in this way into this um, section. That makes this grip is triangular, so your uh, resting finger it, with my, in my case it would be the middle finger this uh, lo bottom part of the triangle would rest on that finger and then your thumb and your um, pointer finger would go on either side of the triangle if that makes any sense that is not the case with the eco you can put your nib and feet in whichever way you like um Yes, there is also this triangular piece right here, but that is just the front. And this here, to me, it feels a bit different. And it's definitely... So I have in the past months noticed that most of my Ecos, the acrylic section right here, is has little cracks. Most of them are not all the way through, but they are starting to crack. 
um, this looks like there is this is a different material so my my hope and wish would be that this is not as prone to uh, cracking as this one I have tried not to remove the nib and feed uh, from these pens but uh, it's still it's still happening so then to fill it you would open this up you would push down wow this was but it's going really easy you would push down you would hold it and then you would release and then the ink would get sucked into your section through the nib and the feed and into the um, ink compartment back here the acrylic on this however feels less sturdy than the cap seems thicker than this this feels if this drops i feel like i would crunch this and it would fall in, into pieces um, so that feels more cheap than the body of this pen as well as this one so let's do some size comparison and then we'll ink it up i have pulled out i unfortunately cannot find my regular lamy this is a lamy all-star it's the exact same size as a regular safari but um, let's let's just put this here the cap does have this little notch right here that has a hole so you could actually put a put this on a lanyard if you wanted to so this is how long this is let's align these so basically the twisby go is the smallest one of those eco uh, twisby pens right here then we have the lamy safari which is bigger or longer than the go longer than the uh, swipe and a tiny bit shorter than the eco and then we have ta -da -da -da, the kaweco sport just as a comparison this looks so much more bulky and less elegant than this it doesn't really feel like a fair comparison between those two pens but just so that you get a feel for the size here is the kaweco let's uncap it Wow. Okay, so length lengthwise um the uh, swipe and the go are similar. Let's just line them up with the section because that's where you would grip them and you can see that the eco and the lamy are longest and the go and the swipe are pretty close i haven't even tried if you could actually post this you can but this would make this humongous and also it doesn't feel like it's sturdy enough i feel like if you post this too deeply it would crack in the right here and that's not something that I would want to risk. So I will probably not post this because, to be honest, this pen is long enough as it is. I got this in a medium nib and I can clearly tell that this is definitely a broad medium. Uh, I have had several different um, nib sizes from Twisby and some are more like medium nibs. This one is a fine but they're all different in even in the same nib width. So I have different medium nibs that write in different line widths. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, I was going to show you how long this pen is compared to the... So if you post the Kaweco, this is the only way that I would be able to write with this, then... Uh, the Kaweco is longer than the Go. 
it is fairly lightweight. I could pull out my scale if that's of interest. It is actually of interest for me. I am going to weigh the uh, Eco as well as the Go. Do we want to see the swipe? Is there a nib in there? Yes. There would be a converter so that it's not really fair to do it this way. Let me check if I... I don't have my converters here at the moment. Then I'll just, I'll just grab them. How about that? This one, for instance. Let's do the spring-loaded converter because I was going to talk about that anyway. So if you do not like the go, but you would love to experience the spring loading mechanism you could totally go for the swipe it comes with this converter and so you could try and see how that works for you so let's let's start the go in the base just unfilled all of them are not filled is 18 grams with a cap the Eco is 22 grams with a cap and the swipe is 15 with a cap and a converter included. Then uncapped, unposted, this is 13. Uncapped, unposted, this is 13 as well. And uncapped, unposted, this is 10. So the lightest of those three is definitely the swipe. I, yes, you can actually feel that. I didn't think that the Go and the Eco would weigh the same uh, uncapped and unposted. That's quite interesting. I want to ink up this Go with this ink. I received this for Christmas. It is, um, a wearing ghoul ink it's a shimmer ink because why not it's called yun don ju a star spattered hill and it is this beautiful yellow with gold shimmer i really like that ink the way it looks and so let's get a towel and try this. Okay, this is... I'm quite... Um, I'm not sure if I want to agitate this too much because I do not... I do want shimmer in the pen, but I also don't want to have too much shimmer in there because you remember how I struggle with this. I haven't even tried this ever before. Huh. Okay, let's try this one more time. Wow, that's a lot of ink in here. Maybe I'll remove some because I don't even know if I, maybe like so. This is still quite a bit, but it's not as much as before. I don't want my pen, pens inked up all the way because um, then I don't, it takes too long to write them dry. And I don't usually, uh, put the ink back, especially not if I have a bottle of ink. I'm afraid that it might contaminate or cross-contaminate, and so that's how, how this works. Let's see if that worked. I'm, I'm so excited and curious to see. I can't believe I was able to hold off this ink. Mm. Okay, interesting. Did 
Did you see me do something wrong? I hope I didn't. So today is January 23rd, 2023. And this is the Twisby. Go clear with a medium nib. And the ink is Wearing Ghoul. And the color is Yoon Ju. A star spattered. This nib is quite stiff. It's a regular steel nib. It's a medium size, as I said. I, oh wow, can you see the shimmer? Yeah, I really, I wanna see how this works. I'm going to put this away now. Wow, 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 wow. Can you see how much shimmer is in that pen? I'm really curious. I will keep you updated. I'll film my currently inked probably this coming uh, Thursday. There is some ink in here. And then I will report back and tell you how it all, how it's going. <laughs> we will see live if the nib and feed is clogged. But so far, I'm I'm really impressed. It looks like there's lots of shimmer in here but it also looks like it can handle it. I hope you are able to see the beautiful shimmer on this pen and ink. So if you, if you have this ink, let me know how it performs for you. I, besides the fact that my, my friends recommended this pen for shimmer inks, especially, uh, they also recommended some brands that might work better. Uh, than others and this one was among those I really I'm really liking the I have several found several wearing ghoul inks that I have had um, seen online where I was like oh wow I would love to use this so I hope you can see the shimmer and I'm really curious to see what it looks like when I come back Thank you so much for watching. I I do want to know if you have a Twisby Go, how you enjoy it. Is it a pen that you gravitate towards? Is it just a playful thing that you wanted to try? Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you soon. Until then, bye.